Okay, so we're over here at Ruben's, and earlier I was working on this water heater, but there was only one leg of power, and I thought it was because of the energy management program that he's on. But apparently that wasn't the case, because he came home and lights were not working. So we've been tracing it back, and it's been one leg of power from over at the house, all the way back to the garage here, only one leg. And the craziest thing happened, here. So when I tapped on this, so here's the meter, it's feeding down from up there, and when I did this, if you watch in there, I'm just tapping it right here. It's probably drawing a lot of power actually because there's other lights in the house and stuff. It's this fuse thing that is somehow, well you can kind of see that it's out just a tiny bit right there it's tipped out so I think I think I'm gonna pull it out the rest of the way first and we'll inspect the terminals sure yeah. and then see what happens I don't know if it's a good idea to touch this yep it is huh. mm. oh, there's a dead I saw the light flicker in the garage <laughs> it's a very dead wasp but it's still <sighs> hey here we go ready yep <clears throat> Alright, no, no death occurred. So there is, well we know that the fuse is fine, um, but why don't we test it anyway? Should we test it anyway? Yeah. Because, well we know that some, well that's a frozen yeah, boot. Ice storms cause problems. Oh, did you just break that? How are we gonna? No, I broke it a while ago. How are you gonna make? I actually ran it over. <laughs> it's not <laughs> not a good feeling. Oh hey, if you yeah. guys want to subscribe to Ruben's channel, I'll put a card right up here. You should definitely do that because he has some much more interesting videos about making orange juice and stuff. <laughs> actually, no, he has some cool videos, but not really about orange. Hey, your flashlight is flickering. Oh. Put it on. Is it on the high setting? Oh, apparently not. The low setting has a more flicker. I've noticed. Alright, so I'm putting my tester into just scan mode and it'll automatically tell me if these are working or not. So you can see that one's basically zero ohms and that one's basically zero ohms. So those fuses are good. <laughs> and what are those? So those are 60 amp fuses. Can't see what this yeah, bottom one is. <laughs> Don't break my fuse. Yeah, I'm not going to. Okay. So we're going to just say it's fine. And this one looks like there's not really a way to have it. Oh, is there? There's on and off position. So if you want to put it in the off position, you can do that because those fingers are in the off position like this. So you want it to be in the on position, obviously. Now, I think instead of pushing this in right now, we should turn off your, there's this uh, panel right here that feeds. It's really hard to open. Yeah, I know, I have the same one. So wait, does that? No, that's not gonna help anything. Why? It appears that that gets yeah, no, it's fine. Look, it comes out right down here. So what you have going on, but see, look, there's a transformer right here. So why, oh. I think the wires go up there and then come back down into the ground. Essentially, the air is their wire nut because they made it have to. <sighs> I'm so confused, okay. Let's think about this. It looks kind of like this is a big conduit. And this is a big conduit. Okay, well, there's a high voltage conduit that comes up, okay. I would think. No, no, no. Okay, this is what they did. In order to leave most of the wiring the same, they, uh, when they when they got rid of the, the overhead lines, they dug in their high voltage line down here. So the high voltage line comes over into the transformer. And then instead of going straight into and moving the meter down and changing all this stuff here, they just ran this 240 volt circuit up the pole 
and then hooked onto the existing wires so that they could just feed it back down through the original meter and everything and leave all this stuff the same. So that, that's what I'm guessing anyway. If you guys think it's different, you can comment down below and tell us why we're wrong. So it looks like this right here. That's the power going up. That is high the- High voltage? No, that's not high voltage. That's, that's the transformed down. There should be three wires in there, I'm guessing. Unless, they, unless there's a grounding conductor, but I don't know that there would be. I can't really see right now. But either way, that runs up there and comes back down. Everything goes through this meter and um, this fuse box. And then it's all modernized from here out. So this 200 amp panel, this cutoff uh, panel or uh, main disconnect panel, this 200 amp switch is just a means of disconnect. You actually don't have 200 amps it's for my barn and my closet. available. As far as I can tell, maybe we could pull this cover off here and look just to be sure. But um, as far as I can tell, you only have, you think your flashlight's on low setting again? I don't think I changed it. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was just flickering. Um, as far as I know, this 200 amp is just a means of disconnect. You obviously only have this amount of amperage available for your whole property. But anyway, <clears throat> so with this turned off, then when we push this in here, it's not going to put load on these contacts right away. So we can turn the breaker on instead of um, once we have this fully seated in instead of putting that, you know, causing more arcing than already has happened. So here, you want to hold this? Sure. Don't get electrocuted. I, I don't have a defibrillator. You have to go take care of the children. Are, that are baby babysitting themselves right now. Okay. No, they're not. There's people. There's a babysitter that's there. All right. So I'm gonna get this kind of ready. All right. Wait. Do this. Whew. So it's nicely seated, but it didn't feel like super stiff. So maybe that means we should uh, investigate that further at a future date. So. Now, we'll turn this back on. Let's see if the house comes on. Oh, yay! And the lights came on. <laughs> but yeah, let's open this up and look in here really quick. Okay. I'm gonna pause this, I'll come back when we get it open. Check out Ruben's garage here. He's got a lot of really good stuff in here. Nice, nice, nice bench grinder. Oh my goodness, are you hoarding masks? <gasps> How many of those? You can't put those on the internet. <laughs> what is this? Is this a, this is like an N five hundred? I'm pretty sure. Wait, I don't know. I don't know Warning: This mask will not protect your lungs. <laughs> what? what? Yeah, it says this mask may not protect you. Will not protect your lungs. Misuse may result in sickness and death. For proper use, see supervisor box or call 3M. Hmm, interesting. I'm not sure why they tell us that. Either. That's really funny. <laughs> Isn't that like the whole purpose of purchasing a mask? Yeah. Is for your lungs? <sighs> got this really nice screwdriver. <laughs> My word. Don't you have an actual... Oh no, it's too big. You're going to have to go grind it. Okay, let's go grind it. <laughs> and the power's yeah, back on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, we're going to have to rewire re this garage because I think it's still knob and tube or something. <laughs> but does he have power to his to this? Now, are you going to power your uh, your... There's power here. Do you power that from the Lichtenberg this transformer? This powered from the light. <laughs> Look at that. That's like a. So if you if you use. That's it like a long. twenty gauge thermostat wire feeding it. Oh, I found a nice No, no, no. Let's fix that one. It's more fun. Or are you gonna use your grinder? Why is your grinder clamped in the vice? Oh, I was trying to get this wheel off. <laughs> this this grinder doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so you're trying to save the wheel or what? Yeah, yeah it's so nice, and I have a grinder that does work, but it doesn't have a wheel. Oh man, that looks pretty stuck on there. I don't know. 
mm-hmm. this grinder, which works. <laughs> Didn't you buy that at an auction or something? Yeah. For way too much money? I bought a, a whole box of old <laughs> tools for like four bucks. And it matches and the garage. I don't know. Nicely. Oh, what, look at this drill press thing. <laughs> Does this work good? Uh, you can try it. It looks like there's a little slop in the handle here, but... Yeah, I don't think it works very good at all. Hmm. I was trying to find my eye protection. It's supposed to be Oh, I right uh, just use the mask. It's not good for your lungs anyway. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, we're definitely going to fix this screwdriver and then we'll come back. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Perfect. Safety first, as always. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is a this is a proto proto Type. manufactured nine MFD nine six zero four USA. This is a USA made screwdriver, and it's been retipped. Actually, it looks all right. It looks a little fat, maybe. I can't believe it's screws. made in the USA, man. That's, can test it to the screw. that's awesome. That's really awesome. Oh, oh yeah. that's the perfect fit. Oh, that's perfect. It's we can just leave it in the level. panel for future use. <laughs> yeah. Next time, next time we hey, need to do this. The price was right. Was hey, is that your pillow? Nice. You even have it hanging the, in the correct way. The flag is on the right side. Or, I mean, the left side, which that, is the right side. That was here. Right? I think it's hanging right. Oh no, somebody's gonna I tell think it's us. supposed to be on the left. Okay, we're gonna finish opening sure the panel be now. There. We'll be right back. Oh, sorry, I took away your light. Um, I don't know, the ice must have like pushed it out or something. Okay. Okay, the cover is off. So let's observe what's happening here. We have some wires coming in <laughs> the bottom. No, those are going out actually. Our wires coming in right here. So our two main legs are six gauge, it looks like. And they are six gauge copper. So six gauge copper. So yeah, six gauge copper wires. So we have 60 amps on each leg that is available feeding this particular panel and the entire property. And right there you can see the E GC or equipment grounding conductor and that stuff it looks like it's sized so that it can carry more I'm guessing this 80 amp breaker right there is what is feeding the house now Which is funny because we have an 80 amp breaker that's feeding the house even though there's only 60 amps feeding this panel But I think all this is set up in such a way that they were planning on upgrading the service But it just hasn't been done yet and it's able to get by on that 60 amps alone so the, these two wires yeah, so these, going to the house. So there's four wires going to the house, <coughs> which is proper. So we have our equipment grounding conductor. There's, wait, there's, no, I think that that's these... a neutral. Okay. Right up here, they've marked that green, which I don't think that that should have been green. So they've got green tape on that, but then they have white tape on it right there. That's our neutral conductor. But I think that that could have been connected on one of these neutral lugs here in the middle. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm kind of confused. Give me a second. Okay, I, I see it here now. So normally your neutral conductor that feeds your main up here would be in one of these top lugs. So one of those top center lugs would have the neutral wire. So we have our two hot wires coming in and they're all feeding in through this conduit right here. So we have that white wire and that lands right there on this regular neutral bus instead of bringing it up and landing it on top. Now, I don't know if that's necessarily a problem, but it's just not what you would typically see. And then this one with the green tape on it is actually the neutral conductor going to the house. It does have white tape on it down here like we talked about. And then that goes down into the ground and over to the house. And then we have our other two hot legs which are being fed from these. Oh no, hold on. Okay, I just realized I was talking, making a little bit of a mistake when I was explaining this. Those 
this breaker, this 80 amp breaker is feeding a different building. It's not feeding the house. I believe these two lugs, this is a feed through panel. So we have 200 amp lugs available down here on the bottom. So these larger wires are the ones that are going to the house. Okay, so that 80 amp breaker is for the Quonset shed and the other one, which I think the is 60 garage. amp, is for this uh, garage and right here. And the barn? Yep. Are on this 60 amp breaker. Okay. The wires that go yeah. into that piece of conduit go into the garage. Yeah. So, yeah, those mm -hmm. ones. These ones right here are the ones that go into the house. The ones that come off the bottom right there go to the house. And I'm not sure what gauge those are exactly. They are aluminum conductors. There are only three conductors. So we have two hot legs and a neutral, which is also acting as the kind of grounding conductor because it was before a fourth grounding conductor was required when that one was uh, oh, set up. Oh, I have a grounding rod pounded in the ground next to my house. Well, you would have had that either way, but yeah, that is also true. So anyway, this has been the exciting uh, troubleshooting process over here at Ruben's. We have power restored to his house. Leave any thoughts down below and make sure you subscribe to his channel to see more electrical troubleshooting on his farm site if he has more problems. Thanks a ton for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, click on one of these videos over here, and then I'll talk to you over there. All right, bye.